Hello, hello, you sexy people. How y'all doing today? It's about Prof Chop. We're back again with our Remy video, a little bit different than usual Remy videos. This is Lord Miles the Brit at the Fall of Kabul. I gotta be honest with you, I have no idea what this is about. People said you need to watch this, it's cool, so I'm like, okay, hey, okay, all right, all right, I trust y'all. Trust y'all. Um, women just running around, you know, in burkas. Um, okay. Everyone's fighting, there's like things on fire. It's basically anarchy, right? Um, so it's pretty based. Pre it's pretty based. Uh, I swear to God. Some people are lacking that survival instinct. Uh, my boy just said it's pretty based. The 21 year old British man that at the time of recording is currently stuck in Kabul. Kabul, the capital Kabul. of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. Oh. The capital of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. Oh. Before we go. So that's why y'all wanted me to check this out. It's probably gonna be wild. Okay, okay. I, 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 I'm you, I have no idea what's happening with uh, Afghanistan currently. I know it's been taken over by, uh, well. Huh. Go into details. You know, we'll go through the entire timeline up to now. I think now. it's like, all right. You won't have to hear me butcher any more French. Because Pro Miles would be referred to by his honourable title that he earned through less than honourable means. Lord Miles. The timeline begins the as far Lord? back as the 5th of May, when he first announced on his Facebook that he'd be travelling to... London, Moscow, Moscow, Istanbul, Istanbul, New Delhi, India, New Delhi, Kabul. Afghanistan. Damn. This makes later events even more incredulous as he timed his arrival almost perfectly for the collapse of the Afghan security forces. First forward to 2.01pm on Friday the 13th in August. Afghanistan looked like this and Miles looked like this. <laughs> On the 14th, Afghanistan now looked like this. He posted Wait, two down. On the 14th, Afghanistan damn. now looked like this. Wait, how he posted Wait, two further threats. How fast did this shit collapse? It's at 6.51 a.m. on the Sunday the 15th, and then later on at 3.31 p.m. the same day. On that day, Afghanistan looked like this. And the most cursed Wikipedia page I've ever seen the was created. Kabul. Is this what history feels like? It was now Monday, damn. and Miles created a new thread at 8.47 a.m. Afghanistan still looks like this, but now Kabul's airport also looks like this. Things were not looking great for Damn. Man Miles. All the while he was posting to his Facebook. Saw a few dead car crash motor is fleeing, only a few brave stay embassies close. So I walk to the airport and I'm safe and I'll find the British representatives and get a flight out. Damn, bro, it's some scary shit. Page and tried to live stream to it, then switched to Twitch to stream there. Which went on for significantly longer. Most of these posts have been deleted by him now, though. People mostly think in realization that he was handing out a little bit too much information. Uh -huh. Especially since One Piece just straight up tells us the compound he's in. But we'll get to that later. The compound. Damn, bro. The 4chan threads opened with a banger when he revealed his genius plan. If he was kidnapped by the Taliban, he was legally considered a lord. So he would hope to be ransomed. He explained in the live stream that he'd bought one of those joke deeds that classes you as a lord. Then got dressed in a suit and went to his bank to ask them to change his title on his card. They did it. This worked apparently, and he's enjoyed the benefits ever since. So whenever I call up America Express, they go, oh, "Hi, Mister, oh, Lord Routledge," they just like give you special treatment. So it always helps. Like for example, with a flight over, they saw I was a lord when I purchased like additional food, and they didn't charge me for it. They said, "No, no, Lord, it's it's free on the house." If I go to a hotel, they give me the best rooms. Like they say, you know, on the ha um, wait on the ha not on the castle. We give you this for you. Jesus no one, Christ! No one knows any better. And it's not illegal. It's it's just people don't people are ignorant. So yeah, if you can become a lord or a lady. As for why he chose Afghanistan, he said he googled the top ten lord most lady. dangerous countries in the world. And used it like a shopping list. He claimed Bro. to have to Chernobyl and bribed a guard to let him take home a gas mask that he later sold for more than the cost. Bro! This dude's trash breathed around our life! At least corroborate the fact Jesus. that he's been to Chernobyl itself. Why did he still choose to go to Afghanistan though? Well, he said the tickets were non refundable, so he decided to go anyway, since his original plan would have him leave on a plane back home on the 19th. To be entirely uh -huh. fair to the guy, he may be an idiot, but so is every single intelligence agency, military advisor, and journalist. US military analysis says Kabul could fall to Taliban in 90 days. If we on what, like five? <laughs> Taliban could take Afghan capital within 90 days after uh, six months. Afghanistan Damn. would hold for months. <laughs> He then got banned for doxing himself and right, came back peace, with buddy. the photo. The first thread the was photo? mostly law building for Mark doxing himself and came back with the the sun exclusive. Brit Master actually trapped in Kabul on holiday leaves, ma leaves mom in pieces after insane. What? 
photo. The first thread was mostly law-building for miles, like that he's a devout Catholic and that he clogged his hotel's toilet. Remember this, it's important later. The second thread started out much the same, a cheery tone, clogging the toilet for a second time, and laid out his plans for the day. Get some money, feed refugees and the starving dogs, and become Britain's leading Afghan rug importer. His a plans were dashed by a run in the banks by the Afghans, <laughs> leaving the ATMs empty and miles without his rugs. Yeah. Rugs. The rugs I wanted. We at least got a little look at his He's, first hotel that he so referred chill. to as his safe house. Then he went to the top of a hill and- Oh. Oh no. I know the world is scary like- Wait, okay, we need to read those real quick. Uh, top of the hill, mountains say Taliban forest We turn around instantly. They're very close. Tried to book the flight out there today, but there is no one I can find. The number of the embassy doesn't work, which is cause I'm driving back to the safe house, gathering my sentence. There will be knocking on the door of the embassy. I'm stuck here. I'll wait until the night in my safe house. Uh, there's a room in the blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's afraid. Oh no. Yeah, he I should be afraid. It's scary right now, but it's gonna get way worse. Damn. Miles began his escape attempts, covering yeah, himself in a burqa until, until he switched to a, a white headscarf. guy. He found another British national and arrived at the airport only to find there were no flights, leading to a line that had Oof. been quoted in nearly every article about the man. Bit says of he a saw the pickle. Into the airport and he left, headed back to the safe house. <sighs> this was his last message in the second thread and was posted at 3:04 p.m. on the Psychopath. Sunday. Psychopath. Miles returned just half an hour later with the third thread, stating that he had found the hidden international resistance place. This turned out to apparently just mean a UN safe house, but more on that later. Our man Miles says he met Turks. I, I sincerely hope this is not actual pictures of the UN safe house, because that 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 does not look like a house, and it goddamn does not look safe at all. UN safe house, but more on that later. Our man Miles says he met Turks and Brits in the safe house, and that he's been put into a room while the situation was sorted out. This is the only time he posted in this thread, because the safe house had made the critical mistake of giving him a Wi-Fi password, so the live streams began. Before we discuss those, we'll bring up the fourth thread due to it lacking much detail. The fourth thread was started at 8.47 a.m. on the Wait, Monday. I just so realized, if this motherfucker leaks the location, he's endangering not only his dumbass self, but everybody else in that compound, safe house, whatever. Lord had survived the night, Jeez. but revealing nothing else worthy of note, save for the identity of the leader of the Taliban. Onto the live stream. Wait, what? The fourth thread was started at 8.47 a.m. on the Monday, showing us that the Lord had survived the night, uh -huh. but revealing nothing else worthy of note, no save for the else? identity of the leader, Taliban Taliban. leader Samir Al Hideri, seen here seven after the creation of the new Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. And onto the live streams. The first Jesus was attempted Christ. on his Facebook and was deleted quickly. He stated in the Twitch live stream this was due to most of the people in the 4chan thread not actually having Facebook accounts to watch the stream. The Twitch live stream then went live, with upwards of 3,000 people at its peak watching a British man shitpost live from a city in the midst of a Taliban takeover. Unfortunately, I can't show you the chat, as in true internet fashion, it yeah. was mostly filled with big black dicks. Mm, I'm not surprised. I, I tried to message um, the Syrian embassy, and I called him a few times asking if I could meet Assad, but he basically said no. And I was like, okay, I'll go Afghanistan then. Do you remember me saying on the thread that I clogged the toilet? I never got to unclog it. <laughs> so... There's a massive shit left somewhere of Taliban's going uncover. I don't worry, the country's already a giant shit, oh, so... Oh, you need to get out. We're not too sure yet. <laughs> um, basically, there's Americans, there's uh, there's Russians, there's there's basically everyone here. So I'm a physics student at Loughborough University. Uh-huh. Best uni out there, excellent people. I'll show you my visa, how about that? At Loughborough University. Best uni out there. His fellow students' thoughts on him are mixed to say the least. Many are dislike him, but I've also received DMs from friends that are enjoying situations. Also, those part of friends of his that are infuriated. Uh, no matter from unity, the business of the keeping us entertained. That's why I think he's cheat posting the whole time. His fingers crossed, he's alright. Uh, he's also one of the most sociopathic people I know. He got thrown out of his whole Facebook chat for anti Semitic posts. The dude has a bad upbringing, but he's still one of the most arrogant, narcissistic, selfish twats I've ever had the displeasure of knowing. He's intentionally misgendered my trans friend. Took her face and was kicked out of our freshers group chat for anti-semitic jokes. He also tried to manipulate one of my friends into leaving her boyfriend so he would have a chance and brag to strangers about someone's sexual so that he had opened up to... Jesus fucking Christ. Excellent people. Okay, the, dude's an edge lord. Yeah, okay. see my visa. Fair enough, I mean, we could already tell from before that. Go. Did you actually show this? Delete browser history. Yeah, I actually did before going. <laughs> yeah, so my tour guide. This is a big issue. So my tour guide, basically, he's helped. He's translated for the Afghani people and the government. So he's basically aided the government before. So the Taliban want to kill him. And he's the loveliest person ever. I can't say anything about him because you know, 
guarantee the Taliban is watching. They're on TikTok, for Christ's sake. Um, but he's an amazing person. He got me here. He got me everywhere. He got me out of trouble. You know, he's he's sound. You didn't and unplug your to toilet, though. Apply for asylum. So if anyone knows anyone inside the asylum system within America or Canada or something. This is the one guy that deserves to actually get out of the country and get asylum. He speaks really good English, he's very pleasant. Like, he could abandon me. He has a family. Cut for the uh, guy's price. You know, his parents, or something like that. He could have just went, oh, right, thing. I've got your money now. But he didn't. And I still haven't paid him everything yet because the ATMs were down. Is your girlfriend red pilled? She's Catholic. Uh, please film Power Socket. Power Socket, one sec. Let me just come while camera. I'm going to transport you guys around. Uh, that's, that's the power socket. What's wrong with that? Wait, power that plug, wait. Uh, power plug adapter needed in Af- Wait, hey, come on, what the- Wait, where the hell? In Afghanistan, I've got some the socket to type CNF. Check out following pictures in Australia. Need a power plug adapter for saying CNF. Wait, I'm confused. Isn't that normal? I have to have a military back. So like there's loads of helicopters overhead. Oh. Bro, why are you so chill? Y'all could die at any second. That would not be a chill at all. I just heard a whirring noise like a firework. Oh, it might be a missile. How about the local street here? Very good, actually. I've had like handshakes. I've, I've shaved the hands of the Taliban. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, airport. Yeah, I've got I, airport I, I do not know what you mean. I don't want to know what you mean. God damn it. So I was leaving the press, you mean. Like, oh, no flights, and then because there was three convoys with like, you know, machine guns, the Taliban were there, and I just walk in between them, or in between their, you know, their um, cars, with a cross on, we make eye contact, I kind of just nod at them, and then because they're driving towards me, I just put my hand out on their car, and just stop them, and then they stop for me, and let me pass. Change your category on Twitch, just chatting. This guy has, uh, he has what people call... There is retard strength and there is dumbass luck. I think he has the dumbass luck, right? Because the... Okay, listen as somebody in a very hostile environment this guy is not he doesn't appear to be a, a, a Well, like a brilliant individual that's surviving by his wit. It does not seem to be like that Now we turn to look at Facebook surprisingly the best source of information throughout this entire event Unfortunately, these screenshots are all we have left, as these posts were later wiped. Things start normal, some celebration for his viral posts, some darker posts, as things turn bad, mirroring the 4chan. Corin, I saw. However, it seems oh, the yeah, fear that's of the one. So also, things aren't good for me right now. It's probably the journalists about my spirits. I actually remember them. I didn't remember them before. I've been with mental health people at my educational place. So hopefully, they can help me. I was trying to stand, keep them all down. I don't think I'll sleep tonight. I've seen too many days. Ah, got real, huh? I just want this whole thing to be a little charity thing where I can explore a weird country but I've mentally broken down. I'm not sure what's going on right now. My face in the mirror doesn't look right. Yep, it got real. It got fucking real. People think it's a joke. You know, they, they laugh, they're edgy online, but when it gets real, it gets real. Death had finally it's not funny. Intrepid British explorer and uh, reality is not These funny. Posts were later removed, I slapped myself and did some breathing back to normal, making things work. I only tried to. As I'm calling people who may be able to get me out of here, no kids. But damn, I wish I packed more socks. Spring through a mental break during his time at the safe house. Throw the he cats made it out. That's hopeful. Fourth 4chan thread that this was a temporary mental no, break, I'm and he fine. felt better afterwards. Then someone handed the man who just had a mental break a gun. He apologized for being too. Bruh just had a mental break a gun. He apologized for being oh, too base 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 base. I'm too base for my own good. On his stream. No, you're not too base for your own good. You're based because before he he was based because he didn't see the reality. After I I will be very surprised if I don't know if he made it out but if he made it out and if he was still as based as he is now before this well, I'll be Facebook very surprised if he is Twitch stream was deleted the only ones left were his three most uh, recent uh, posts so thanking people through. for their help and also okay. mentioning that while he was safe his tour guide was fearing for his family requesting that people donate to the charities in the area there is one final post but we'll save that for the ending let's okay. turn our attention to the private messages the safe house and other information i've received thank you to dirk and cm among other anonymous sources for providing information to help okay. with this video it is significantly harder to provide a timeline for this information but any information i share in this video i've done my best to verify as legitimate as always if i am correct and proven wrong or new information comes to light i'll include it in a pinned comment
to start with right. his hidden is there any pink comments that was feel on earth a dream no it is not the international resistance place. Originally, one of my friends attempted to map out his location using the live stream's audio and the flight radar, and we thought we had things pretty narrowed down. Turns out we didn't need to bother, as Dirk posted the badge that Miles had attempted to keep hidden on his stream to Facebook. I later contacted Dirk and managed to confirm that he had been in contact with Miles, bringing some okay. legitimacy to the information. Lord Miles was caught at Zohak Village, a compound apparently being utilized by international forces in the area. Okay, I'll pass here. I'll show you it. You'll give away where I am. I was told it was Keep a on. known UN safe house. Known to who though, I do not know. I tried googling UN safe houses uh. in Afghanistan, but that just led to ASIO knocking on my door. <laughs> Thankfully they can't come in due to the Melbourne lockdown. Uh -huh. Journalists reported it as being a UN safe house, and we know they've never been wrong before, so we'll stick with that. By the recording of this video, according to Miles' latest post, the compound will have been abandoned. Be abandoned. Another DM confirmed Miles as the creator of the fourth thread, and that he was still alive and well at the time, though He's wondering if the UK account. government might throw him in the slammer when he gets home. He also confirmed that he was with the British Armed Forces at the time. At this point, the airport in Kabul is looking like a scene out of any cheap zombie movie. With Jesus US forces Christ! Your Yo, what is the... what is this? Over 800 people were packed into one of the C-17s leaving Kabul. Oh, that was probably the most. Oh, that that, that probably didn't feel, did not feel good, but it, it was probably a lot better than staying in the, the fucking movie. country. With US forces strip using a shit. fucking Apache to clear the runway at one point. Yeah. Genuinely, holy shit, I've watched a lot of combat footage, and this is the craziest shit I've ever seen in you my life. Combat I footage? obviously cannot show you, but there's oh even footage of God. Afghans clinging to the aircraft as they take off. Clinging to the outside. Yo, that, that is scary. You can guess how the footage ends. This explains why, despite being with international forces, he wasn't already on a plane and home free. But his final Facebook post brings some hope. I'll be given body armor emergency evacuation right now to a better place as all campsites are put on with the best of the best they say. States that he'll okay. be given body armor and an emergency evacuation to a better place as most compounds are to be abandoned. He stated that he was with the best of the best and that this may be the moment lads. Pray. So that's the last of the information we have directly from Miles. Though recently he deleted that last post. So he's but still the story okay? Doesn't stop there. In fact, it gets crazy. So crazy <laughs> that I cannot Crazier. show you the article I'm referencing. Sorry, but for once in this video, I'm going to have to ask you to trust me. Because we've just spent the last six hours or so desperately attempting to remove the information from the internet. Yeah, never thought I'd leverage agency. the friends I play armor with as an info security operation, but credit to each and every one of them, I wouldn't have managed this without them. What you get references? Now. Tired, wide on caffeine, and with a pounding headache. That's a I was weird. Head. you, Shunker, but uh, oh. you may understand in a moment. I uh, need to be a little bit more serious here. I've done my best to interweave the seriousness of this situation with the inherent humor. That's why I started okay. this whole video in the first place. But the last of the information isn't humorous. It's genuinely dangerous. I will not mention this website that the information was posted on, nor the writer of it. I will say the writer was the last person in contact with Miles to my knowledge, as of 2pm Afghanistan time. This is on the Monday. During this time, the writer conducted an interview, and Miles provided excessive information to them, down to the number of soldiers in what I believe to be a new compound other than Zohak Village, but this cannot be confirmed. Incredibly, and I asked the writer if Miles was sure, and the writer confirmed, that when the plane that Miles is intended to leave on arrives, he will put on a bulletproof vest and travel to the airport with a Taliban escort. The estimated departure of the flight is with a, a with a Taliban escort. Wait, anywhere from the next two days to the next two weeks. So it seems that Miles is safe, even with the Taliban being aware of his location. What was horrifying, though, was the other information revealed in the article. For those of you who don't know, an interpreter. Or Terp is a native citizen who worked with the international forces as a translator and guide. In this case, Afghans working with ISAF forces. Their identities are kept strictly secret and their faces obscured in photographs, as insurgent groups, in this case the Taliban, almost always mark them for death. And if they cannot get the interpreters themselves, the interpreter's family. Remember what Miles said during the live stream. Oh, shit. I explain all of this because the article named the tour guide who was with Miles. You fucking idiots. Jesus Christ. Miles providing his real name Bruh. and information that he worked with the Afghan government in exactly that role. This is about as literal as you can get to painting a target on someone's back. When we found this information, we immediately contacted the writer and a little while later got the name removed. 
However, at this point the page had been archived, which led us to contacting the people behind the Wayback Machine and getting the archive scrubbed as well. Uh. As of this recording, it seems that we were successful and the information is gone from the internet. It does Good not job. matter what your thoughts on Miles are, and believe me, mine are in the absolute fucking gutter. As the writer informed me that Miles had told them he'd received permission to use the guide's name. The writer should have known better before reporting on the situation, but Miles' short-sightedness now puts others Miles. in actual danger. And for that... And that's not the first time, right? He he uh, put the location of the bunkers and shit, right? Jesus Christ, He's dude. deserving of ire. The guide has, by all accounts, been nothing but a hero and deserves none of the danger he has been put in. For now, that is the story, and I leave you with the epilogue. I doubt we'll hear any more from Miles for quite some time. God damn it, I was just about to render this. Well, we have. Game 5 people calling it once I can answer, but I found God evacuated for it. And now with 100 source civilians, couldn't I know? Because many signals and bonds broke the airport for Canary, blocked all the Wi Fi tile by the other through the airport. We had many of them, very long transition, but everyone was smiling, waving at one another. Some of them took self, so I slept on the gravel road and woke up as the cars went by. We're a new safe house, we were all hydrated, happy, and ready for a few hours of sleep. have a new word from Miles at 2 a.m. Afghanistan time on the Tuesday. He says he's been evacuated with about a hundred or so other civilians. It's not clear whether he means evacuated outside of Afghanistan or to a different safe house in Afghanistan. It seems like it's a safe house. Airport. We believe it is most likely to the airport and then from there he'll be moving on outside. Once we know, I will answer that in the pinned comment whether he's actually in or out of Afghanistan when he's got his flight, so on and so forth. But for now, the no video actually needs to start rendering and he doesn't seem to be answering any questions on his Facebook page. Regardless, the guy seems safe. He's with civilians, he's with the military, he'll be fine. I can only hope that his tour guide is just as safe. If we do, it'll be in the pinned comment, or... God forbid he actually gives me enough to do a second video on I just want to sleep. Let's wrap this up. Do I think it's real? Absolutely. Beyond the simple stuff like 4chan getting him to perform for them, or writing his name on paper, the level of planning that would go into faking something like this is beyond reason. He has shown his hotel badge, his visa, his flight documents, his boarding pass, a couple license plate, various photos of himself in Bro! easily identifiable locations in Afghanistan. Other students of his university have identified him, most of them hating his guts, <laughs> and I've even spoken with others that know him. Above <laughs> all else, the thing that makes me Jesus believe this Christ. the most is that the media and the embassy and government officials in charge of making sure he gets out of the country and not onto, you know, whatever's going to replace LiveLeak have had plenty of time <laughs> to look into this by now. If Miles didn't actually exist in Kabul, the embassy that is getting flooded with calls from people telling them to help him would have put out a statement saying that he's lying. Especially since he's apparently alongside British soldiers right now. That oh. sort of thing is rather- So that's a way that his uh, internet fame could have helped him. People spamming the embassy to help his ass. Easy to confirm or deny. Okay. But all the same, this is a rapidly oh, developing story ever. and I may be wrong. If I am, then Shit. I must say it's the most elaborate and impressive prank I've seen in my life. But I doubt it. For now, all we can hope is that the plane our lord has boarded will get home safe and sound. No Fucking one lord. cared who I was till I put Bang. on my mask. Now people may wonder what I think. You shouldn't. This video is just meant to summarize the crazy events of the last few days. Uh -huh. But because I know I wish that upon him like some crazy way. Why would you wish death on say him? It. Jesus. I don't sympathize with Miles for traveling to a war zone and getting himself in trouble. Yeah, he seems like a, he doesn't seem like the brightest or the best of individuals, but you shouldn't wish bad upon him. He's just an idiot stuck in a bad situation that he put himself in. Hey, I wish him all the best, but still. I don't, know. I don't hate him for it either. If a man wants to travel to a war zone and get himself killed, well, that's no one's problem but his own. Sure. However, if it turns out that a soldier gets hurt or money is wasted saving him, then absolutely lambast but the guy for his probably stupid will choice. Though. Personally, I think it the guy acts like an edgy team. It probably will though, that's their job, right? I mean, I'm not saying it's they should jump in front of a bullet for him, but they probably will if they... Uh, it's, hey, listen. That's the problem with these poor idiots getting soldiers in trouble, agent, right? And I find it hard to believe he's the Gee. same age as me, but I don't really care about his politics, nor his faith, nor even his edginess. I care about the story Edge. of one man stuck in Kabul, a piece of history. It's human nature to look for a focal character in any great event. There's many more fascinating, terrifying, and insane things happening in Kabul right now, but people get invested in a story. Whew, well, I still have cock hand and another video to work on, but hey, I guess I missed the whole investigative journalism thing. <laughs> Only now instead of horny mod devs, it's an idiot abroad. Godspeed, Lord Miles, and good night. <laughs> okay, okay. I... This will be the final message from Saigon CIA station.
It has been a long fight, and we have lost. Those who fail to learn from history are full. Okay. Okay, I see why y'all are, you know, asking me to check this out so uh, intensely. Okay, it was a, it was a, it was a, I, I won't say fun. It was an interesting story. It's kind of wild. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I said, hey, listen, I said my piece on this. I think he's an idiot. He did dumb shit, but I mean, I don't wish for him to die, but damn. It's kind of fucked up. He, he snitched on the boy that helped him so much. Don't be snitching on your boys like that, even if it's uh, due to stupidity. Do not be. Think more. God damn it. Think more. Hey, I'm curious here what y'all think about uh, the Lord. The Lord. Let me know in the comments, alright? And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye, everybody. Have a nice day.